generating random numbers in Python. Why would I need random numbers and how do I generate them? We'll learn about random floats and integers, random Gaussian values, picking random values from lists, shuffling lists, and generating random numbers with NumPy. A random number is an arbitrary number within a given range. Think of dice. When you throw a die, you randomly get a number from 1 to 6. But what could you need random numbers for in Python? You may need it for initializing weights to synapses in artificial neural networks, splitting data into random train and test sets, and shuffling training data sets. But you should know this. These random numbers we generate variously aren't truly random, but only pseudo-random. There's always some pattern at play. So how do you generate such numbers with Python? The Mersenne Twister is the most common random number generator with Python. It is a PRNG, a pseudo-random number generator. It is called so because its period length is a Mersenne prime, a prime number that is also 1 less than a power of 2, 2 to the power n minus 1. This uses a number to seed the algorithm and deterministically generates sequences. This seed is the current system time in seconds or milliseconds, so you see there is a pattern. It isn't completely random. A different seed creates a different sequence. To work with this, we can import the random module, or we can even import the random and seed functions from it. Let's generate a random floating number first. This will give us values between 0 and 1. Let's make the imports. Let's seed the algorithm with the value 8. Then generate 4 random numbers. This gives us 4 random numbers from 0 to 1. If we do this again, you'll see that it gives us the same results. So there indeed must be a pattern. But such values seem a bit impractical. If you rather want values between, say, 3 and 13, multiply what the call returns by 10, then add 3 to it. And there you have it. We can also generate random integers. The random function takes values for where the range begins and where it ends. Then from this uniform distribution, it pulls out a value. In this, every value has an equal chance of being picked. Let's make the imports and set seed to 8. Print three random integers in the range 0 to 9 inclusive. This means it can also pick 0 or 9 as values. This gives us 3, 5, and 6. Again, it gives us 2, 3, and 0. If we initialize the seed again before printing the three values, we get 3, 5, and 6 again. When returning a random integer, randint includes both the endpoints of the interval. Rand range solves this problem and returns a random integer from a range. You can provide a start, a stop, and a step for this. Another situation you wouldn't use random is when you only have one value to provide, not two. So let's import it from random. For the range minus 3 to 6, it gives us 0, and then minus 3, then minus 2, then minus 1, then 0, then 5, and so on. It will never return 6. We also have the Gauss function. This provides a real value distribution by operating on the mean and the standard deviation. We can use the second argument to declare how often to repeat an item. We set the seed to 8 and print 3 Gaussian values. So far, we've seen how to generate random numbers within intervals or ranges. 
But what if you wanted to pick a random value from a list you built? The choice function lets you do this. We have a list, seed is 8, and we print 6 choices. The output contains 6 values randomly picked from this list. If you'd like to pick multiple values at once, choices will do it for you. From the list, pick 3 values. Again. 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 Choices picks random values with replacement, but sample does so without. With choices, every time an item is picked, it can still be picked again. But with sample, it is no longer a candidate for further selection. It will only appear once in a list of choices. It also does not alter the original list. So we have a list. If we sample 7 values from this list, we get this list. Talking of random numbers, there's more to it than just picking. The random module also lets you randomly shuffle a list in place without using a second list. Let's shuffle the list and again. Apart from the random module, we can also implement random numbers with NumPy. It has the seed and ran functions to help with this. Seed is 78 and we want 4 random values. Doing this again gives us the same thing. And that's how you play with random numbers with Python.